Hi, Stevie. Hi. I just came by to have a look at your horse. She seems to have made a very fast recovery. Much quicker than I expected. That's good. Thanks for checking on her. No problem. Just remember you can call me anytime. Ah, oh, hello there, young Stevie. Sorry about the near see ya. Is anything wrong? Hey, I've been missing a wee blue bottle from my shed down at the fishing village. Ah, oh, it's a terrible shame. They keep me rest with the fishers in there. You see, that's the trunkler I use when I catch a big one and it's flapping around in the boat. Oh. Aye, right, it's a lot easier than beating the big ones quiet with an oar. Cleaner too, mind. Just slip one wee tablet under the gills and the fish can suffocate in peace. Um, well, I hope you find them then. Ah, oh, thank you, Stevie. Say, what's the matter then, eh? You look like you spent an hour reeling in a £50 beauty, only to discover it was a worthless pike. Well, someone poisoned my horse. Aye, that's near good at all. I know. Well, horses are strong animals, a bit like the striped sea bass. She'll be right in no time. I've just asked Cynthia to get me a new batch of me tablets. Cheerio, then. Dear, how are you keeping? How's that pony of yours? She was a bit sick, actually. Cynthia, I need to ask you something about the shop. What's that, dear? I was wondering, who's been buying stamps recently? Well, dear, I'd have to say that would be just about everyone on the island. Being as isolated as we are, everyone buys loads of stamps every month. Okay, well, how about two stamps? Two stamps? <gasps> Let me see. Oh, I think it was that young priest, Tom Penman. Now, I thought that was rather odd, only buying two stamps at a time. And here's me thinking he might have been hard up, but then didn't he pay me with the biggest note I've ever seen? He cleared out the whole till nearly. Lucky Harold came in and bought two big bags of prunes, otherwise I wouldn't have had enough change for Mr. Penman. Thanks, Cynthia. You've been a great help. You're welcome, dear. I'll send some sugar up for your pony. Stevie, how did you get on? It was Penman who bought the stamps. I never liked him from the start. No, I never had a good feeling about him either. I don't know that we can definitely say he's the one, though. Just be careful of him. Okay.
Hi, Father. How was your fishing? Wonderful. Nice to get out on the sea and breathe some fresh air. It looks like Tom had some time out in nature as well. He walked half a paddock of manure back through the church the other night. I've spent all day cleaning it up. That's interesting. My horse was poisoned the other night. Surely you don't think it was Tom. He was out visiting Harold and Hyacinth. Oh, by the way, how's your key investigation going? I've been a bit sidetracked, actually. I think there must be another clue somewhere around here. Well, something occurred to me while you were gone about the engraving on the key. I couldn't get it out of my mind all that day. And then I remembered the tapestry on the wall. Here, the letters A V. Aqua Vitae. Exactly. There must be a clue somewhere in the picture. It was commissioned by Jane Althorpe's grandfather. These are the fountains and gardens at the manor, and here, from up on high, all can see God's clear design. That's the clue. Something about looking down on the manor garden. Maybe the last part of the key has something to do with that. I say, you may just be right. Yes, I almost have it. No, the kid is doing most of the work. All I have to do is follow her. No, no one has guessed. Not even the old man. Of course, I'm going to the manor now. Right. Bye. What are you doing here? I came to see Ulrich. Who are you talking to? That has nothing to do with you. And if you know what's good for you, you'll stop snooping around. Horses aren't the only things that can be poisoned. I knew it. He's the one after the shoes. He must have been the one that told Veronica about them. I better keep this. Statues must be the angels in the tapestry, but where's the next clue? Hey, what are you doing here again? None of your business, Veronica. Hmm. Well, if I were you, I wouldn't be wasting my time looking at these silly statues. Whoever built them couldn't even put them in a straight line. Go away, Veronica. Lucky for you, I have to go away anyway. I'm busy searching for something as well. Why are you helping Tom Penman out? What has he been telling you? I think he's working for a big corporation. Maybe they're going to destroy the whole island, not just the stables. Really, Stevie? I hardly think pulling down a stupid old stable means they're going to destroy the island. Tom Penman's a priest. He doesn't work for any company. Anyway, I don't care about Willow Creek stables. I just want the shoes to put on my horse. I don't know why I'm standing here. I'm not talking to you anyway. Veronica. Let's see. From up on high, all can see God's clear design. That's it. The pattern of the statues shows the shape of the key. Now Bruce can fix the key, and I can open the box. Oh no, Penman's here. I better tell Arthur.
Arthur. Hello, young Stevie. Come to post a letter, have you? Actually, I've come about something that might be more of a police matter. Oh, uh, just a minute then. Now then, you've been keeping out of trouble, I hope. Of course. What seems to be the problem then? I think Tom Penman is up to no good. And what gives you reason to believe this? Well, he's been acting suspicious lately. And what has this suspicious behaviour been? Well, I think he's been following me, and I overheard him making a phone call. He sounded, well, suspicious, and I think he poisoned my horse. Ulrich said he had manure all over his shoes, and Garth's sedatives were missing. And there's a notebook that belongs to Robert Earl with my name in it. Whoa, there, Stevie. That's all very well and good, but it's not enough to warrant an investigation, now, is it? But he also dropped this. Hmm.、Huh? Hmm. It looks to me like a yellow horseshoe. Golden, actually. This is what I'm searching for. I really don't know what Penwin would want with it, but I think he's evil. Well, it is true that Penman is a bit of a mystery character. No one really knows much about him, but he's a man of the cloth, and such men are above suspicion. Who could ever think of a priest committing a crime? But maybe he's not a priest. Father Alric said he had trouble remembering the prayers and hymns, and Hazel thinks he's from an evil corporation. Dear me. How evil exactly? Totally.、Mm. Well, I think I better put on the kettle and have a think. We'd have to get some proof. I'll see what I can do. Maybe you could ask Hazel what we should do. She might know how to deal with these things. I'll stay here and make a plan. Okay, Arthur.